exciting things is the community of people that we work with, both students, faculty, residents and staff. So we don't only focus on students going overseas, we work with everyone who's engaged and interested in global health. And I think the exciting part about the International Health Office is even though our name is international, we are global, so we work with marginalized and underrepresented communities in Canada as well as overseas. And that makes us quite unique. So it's unique that we have such a broad base of uh, populations, but also that we look and focus on the continuum of learning. So from the beginning with students, all the way up to faculty, both junior and senior faculty, and students and residents in between. The International Health Office has been able to do another incredible thing at Dow, which is bring together an interdisciplinary group of students to do overseas placements. So instead of just medical students being able to travel to Africa or Latin America, now they go as an interdisciplinary team. So students from medicine, but also from physiotherapy, from occupational therapy, from pharmacy and nursing. And in that way, they begin to understand that all the best approaches to healthcare and to patient care come from working together as a team and understanding the contributions of the many different disciplines in that team. I think the support for going is excellent. The International Health Office here is kind of unique in that they really um, make sure that you're prepared before you go and there's a debriefing before and after uh, the elective. There's some financial support in the form of bursaries for students who undertake these electives. Um, and there's also, you, you write a narrative report so you're encouraged to share your experiences. I think part of it is very student dependent, like it's, it's up to you to share uh, whatever experiences you have and if you want to give presentations you kind of have to be motivated to do that but I think that that's a really important thing to do as well. Um, I was at the Chris Haney Bear Gwanath Hospital in Johannesburg and I was doing trauma surgery so that basically was working in an emergency room there um, and their emergency is divided into medical and surgical and so I was in the surgical side and so any patient that came with a stab wound, a gunshot wound, had been hit by a car, um, had been in a car accident, I'd been attacked by a warthog, we had one of those. They all came in and we sewed them up, um, treated them and, and took care of them, took them to the operating room if we had to. And um, yeah, on, on call it would be one medical student or two medical students with an intern and a resident. So we got to do everything. Uh, we first assist on all the operations and it was just really hands on, really great. Uh, really just made me come back with a, a renewed sense of energy and passion for the work that I do day to day here and, and really an eye to what I want to do in the future. And so I think certainly as a physician it's, it's put it in context the work that I do. It's inspired me to want to continue to, to be involved in some things like the International Diabetes Federation and the Society of Rural Physicians of Canada who do some work in terms of developing family medicine programs um, in, in East Africa. Uh, so I think that's something I'll continue to do and, and also just brings, I think, to you know, my day-to-day -day interaction with patients a little bit more um, empathy and context and, and I think that's a very important part of being a physician. So it's been really in invaluable in, in doing that. I've always been curious, curious about what else is out there, what else can you do. There's, I would just want to see the world. I want to see places and learn how everyone else functions in other places. And um, this was a perfect opportunity. I don't see myself ever getting another chance w with education to go and learn from someone else. Um, this just seemed like something I had to grab and do. It's, it's going to change me in the sense of just being more open-minded and more creative and more aware of the fact that places are successful with their physio treatment and healing people without the big elaborate equipment and the big machines and a lot of money. Um, so it's, it's changed me in the sense of me being more open-minded, more creative, thinking outside the box and just thinking, hey, if I was in Guyana right now, what would I do? Well, they're, they're global health placements. I think they're important. Any global health placement is important so that students get some uh, experience and understand a developing uh, health care system. 
So this is the this year we use Guyana and India, Guyana and India because the International Health Office, who we collaborated with, um, was able to establish a connection there. I'd say the biggest thing that I learned over there with my profession would be how to better communicate with people. Um, we had a lot of communication barriers because of the language, because of the different cultures and religions. Um, you just really had to adapt and just open up and be open to different possibilities. These students came back um, different. They problem solved, they lived with people they didn't live with, they, they had never lived with before. They communicated with people in a different way than they did before. They were different students when they came back and I think they, they now see health from a broader aspect. Every time you go to a developed country or even a marginalized place in Canada or, or a community that's, you know, not as well off as where you're living, there's always messages that you take back and things you, you know, you learn and can either put towards your, um, your working life or your personal life and teach other people. For this experience in particular, I think it helped me just hone a bit how uh, global health is going to translate into my clinical practice. I think doing it now, uh, you know, in my fourth year of medical school was definitely a different experience from, say, when I went six years ago. Um, and just sort of trying to envision what kind of role I can play in NGOs as a future physician and particularly as a family physician in these kinds of things. I think everybody along the way has a kind of crystallization moment that inspires them to, to, want, and get, to want to get involved. And, and for me, that, that happened a, a few different times, but it certainly has just led me to, to want to look both locally at, at, at health issues, and I think that's part of global health, is looking at what are the health issues in our own communities that are similar to, to uh, health issues in, in other communities around the world, as well as the what's the impact of, of our world system, our world structures, economics on the health of other people, and what can we do in a resource-rich setting to support those that, that are really in need in, in areas of, of the world that don't have as much. So I think, if anything, it just reinforced the sense that medicine's a global thing, um, and it's something that I, that I want to continue doing. I want to continue traveling um, and, and learning from others and also sharing what expertise I can and helping to hopefully set up opportunities for these students to come to Canada and further their own training. And the other thing that's very interesting uh, and quite unique is that we are an interprofessional office. So we're situated in the Faculty of Medicine but we work with health professions and dentistry. We work with the Faculty of Arts and Science, uh, but primarily the, the faculties who are engaged in health. So working in teams collaboratively uh, through an interprofessional lens across the continuum of learning and in Canada and globally. Well, the International Health Office, Global Health Office, uh, was instrumental in, in my medical training here for sure. And I think we're, incredibly lucky to have it because not every school does right